What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. In today's video we have even more great news for those of you on 16.0 all the way up to 16.4. If you're looking for a jailbreak, I have good news for you. A vulnerability was released. The proof of concept code was released by Linus Hensi, the developer behind Fugu15. This video is brought to you by any unlock a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably remember, yesterday we talked about the fact that the iOS 16.4.1 patches only two vulnerabilities. This update was released to patch two vulnerabilities that Apple was aware they were reported to have been exploited in the wild. Both of these vulnerabilities pretty powerful. There is one in iOS Surface Accelerator and one in WebKit. Well these affect iOS 16.4 all the way down to 16.0, probably even iOS 15, we don't know. But they were patched in 16.4.1. Well today Linus Hensi posted this, quote CVE 2023-28206 POC or proof of concept. And they made available the code over here on GitHub. So this is the proof of concept code to trigger exactly this vulnerability here. Remember that yesterday I said there is already code available for these vulnerabilities since they were exploited in the wild. Well, coincidence or not, this was released today and it's basically a full proof of concept for that vulnerability. Now this is not exactly very useful for jailbreak purposes as it is, but it does go to show that the vulnerability is indeed exploitable and it's a starting point for developers willing to try to use this for jailbreak purposes. So right now this is not a kernel exploit, it's a proof of concept that causes a panic. To make this a proper kernel exploit, a little bit more work would be required. However, this is a very good start for anybody who wants to use this vulnerability for jailbreak purposes. This vulnerability could turn out to be pretty useful, however, we still need a PAC and a PPL bypass for a jailbreak to be released. However, it's a great start and if you're running iOS 16.4 you should definitely stay there. If you're running anything lower you should definitely stay where you are. So yep, that's basically it. A new proof of concept for a new kernel vulnerability is now available. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.